hello guys welcome to my channel and uh, today's video we are going to fix uh, the card of this washing machine and uh, one of my customers requested me to fix this and the problem with this card is when we are press the start button it's giving me a this flicker sound and it's not getting powered up so since it's giving me uh, sometime it's give me the sound and sometime it doesn't gives me any sound so in first step once you are uh, going to troubleshoot the, these sort of problem first you have to check that how uh, this card is designed or organized like in if we see uh, in detail that here we have the 220 vo uh, 20 volts jack or a main, uh, main power uh, source it could be 220 volt it could be 110 volt and these 200 uh, 100 220 volts after this or after uh, this uh, uh, it's a uh, some sort of protection uh, it, it triggers in the in case of high voltage so i'm not going in details of uh, the construction of this and here's we have the capacitor the filter capacitor and then these 220 volts uh, reaches across the transformer so here we have the step down transformer which converts the 220 volt to 13 volt so first we have to check either we are getting uh, the main source here or not so in my multimeter I am going to and here you can see that we are getting to 220 volts so it's mean that our power source is okay now the second step is we have to check either our transformer is uh, giving us output or not so let me check this and uh, it's also giving me 13.82 voltages so it's mean I'm also getting the Thirteen volts. So uh, one thing which uh, you must be careful if you don't know or if you don't have a uh, familiar with the such kind of system because this is live system. Here we, we are getting the two hundred and twenty volt directly. So be careful uh, once you are going to fix this. Now we as we have checked that we are getting the thirteen volts here. So it's mean that our transformer is working fine and we are getting the step down voltages and these whenever you uh, measure the voltage across the transformer you should put your uh, multimeter on ac voltages because these are the ac voltages and just after the transformer here we have the four diodes so these diodes are used to convert the these ac voltages to dc voltages so uh, once this rectification is done we get the voltages here uh, in this circuit here we had uh, this uh, this capacitor it was actually the swelled and i thought that it's uh, faulty and it seems faulty and uh, i also tried to check it and sim since it was uh, looking uh, swelled and uh, i had to remove this and whenever you see there's any of capacitor which is uh, swelled you should remove it uh, straight away remove it because in these capacitors uh, there are a number of plates uh, and uh, if it is well it's mean their in internal construction has been damaged so now i'm going to check the voltage across these capacitors and uh, for that purpose i have to shift my uh, multimeter to dc and now here i can see so here i am getting the 10 voltages so it's mean the my circuit is so far okay and i am getting the 10 voltages now the other thing which is the, the very important thing which you must have to check if you are working on the systems is that that you here we have the positive voltage regulator its number is 7805 and this this is the family of 78 series ICs and it's a 70 uh, 7803050607080910 12 the 78 means it's a positive voltage regulator and the next number like 0, 05 0, 06 0, 08 0, 010 means that it will give you the voltages like since its number is 7805 it's mean it will give me the fixed 
5 voltages so as i have seen that here we are getting the 10 voltages and once we install this ic and at the end of this ic we get the here you can see i am getting the 4.5 voltages so it's mean and and at the input we are getting 10 volts so this ic is converting the 10 volts to 5 volts so this is the positive voltage regulator every ic has some limitations like uh, if 7805 it's it can work 12 volt to it can reduce 10 volts to 5 volts so it doesn't mean that you can use to 300 volts and this ic will step down to 5 volts no so that's why this ic this transformer is based on 13 volts if this uh, transformer were around 24 volts uh, we were we were not able to uh, directly convert these 24 volt directly to 24 volt and in that case we also had to uh, add or uh, some other things so that's not a, none of our business in this case and here i have another ic's and uh, the, there are three main ic's the th this one is the microcontroller and here to have the the, the this one is the darlington ic and this is another ic of uh, some sort of the uh, same uh, same uh, ic okay and since this is my button which is which i can use to uh, switch or uh, switch on the machine and he these uh, it's two uh, connections uh, the first comes uh, here and the second goes here and in my troubleshooting i have checked all these components all these components very thoroughly and rigorously and uh, i could not found anything the thing which i found is very informative and i would like to tell you that here we have the microcontroller and this microcontroller is slipping so once we try to try to press to uh, start it up it's not getting it's not getting powered up and or, or in other words you can say it's not waking up because here we have very in a very important component and uh, this is the component and this is called the resonator or clock how it works actually this ic or this resonator is used to wake up this microcontroller so it's mean that you are it's you can assume that you are slipping and uh, you can't think about uh, your uh, tomorrow's or you can't plan about your tomorrow's uh, scheduling even uh, the program is in your mind but since you are sleeping you can't do anything similarly all of our program is stored in the, inside this ic but since we are not uh, able to power it up or we are not able to wake it up so that's why we our whole of our accord is not getting powered up so the problem is with this resonator so once i will uh, uh, sometimes some people call it resonator is also known as a crystal oscillator as well and its frequency is 8 megahertz so it's a very critical component and very important component people also uh, refer it as a clock some people also always clock some people refer it as a resonator some people refer it as a crystal oscillator so and here is the buffing capacitor along with this and in many other circuits you can see a 10 by picofarad capacitor 20 picofarad capacitor uh, installed across this so i will replace this resonator and you will see that my whole card will be power up so so in a case and here you can see sometimes this light fluctuates but it's very rare so sometime because it's trying to uh, wake up the microcontroller but it's not getting power it's not good and sometimes if you like uh, try to push your hands or uh, with your with the help of your hand it, it it can be powered up but it's very sometimes it's happen and sometimes it doesn't happen so it's not a recommended practice but if you want to just confirm that the problem is with this ic or this component you can use this trick but it's a uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work so i am pretty sure about this card that problem is with my this 8 megahertz crystal oscillator and i will replace this resonator and you will see that card will power up thank you very much